beautiful people, it's your girl Melina back with a tutorial on how to do curly locks with no retwist. We're going on a month with no retwist, y'all, and when I say the roots are rooting right now, look at that. Like, oh my lanta. Much product in my hair. For those of you who don't know, I have 61 locks. I've been locked for like a year and four months. And yeah, I'll be honest, these days I'm not a big fan of retwisting my hair. We're going to start out with our spray bottle, and there's just water in there. Usually I put water and aloe vera juice, but I ran out of aloe vera. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to go in with my Uncle Funky's Daughter Thirsty Curls Leave-In Conditioner. And you only need a little bit. This stuff really goes a long way. It's really, really thin. It's not thick or creamy. Once you evenly distribute the product, make sure you massage it into your scalp. So from root to end, just make sure that that product is being evenly dispersed. Now we're going to start sectioning our hair. So as you can see the back, I have no retwist. Um, at all you can see those roots are just so stinking thick with that being said we're gonna start sectioning you're gonna take a mousse of your choice I use Nairobi and as you can see I've used it a lot over the years but I only use a little bit this same product I've had for about a year now so a little really does go a long way you're gonna do two to four pumps nothing crazy but that's for the whole section not just one or two locks and what you're gonna do is you're gonna start plaiting or braiding your locks twist out now you're gonna take your flexi rod I usually use the blue blue flexi rods I know some people have used the red or the orange whatever works best for you you can also use perm rods for this style too you're gonna take your flexi rod and tuck your ends that's very important you guys the last thing you want to do is not tuck your ends and then have funny looking ends that don't go with the rest of your set so be sure to tuck those ends even if you got to undo it and redo it make sure all of your ends are secure when doing this style once you roll it all the way up to the roots, make sure to take the ends and fold them to secure your lock curls. This is very important because if you don't fold them the right way over the locks, over the hair, kind of like a shield or kind of like protecting or holding it together, it will come loose. And just repeat this method all over your head. I usually put about two to four locks on each flexi rod. Uh, depending on the thickness i um, it's completely up to you and your hair on how you want to section them and part them uh, but this is just what i do as you can see in the back i do have a few locks that are uneven so some that are shorter than others and that's okay you, you can still braid your hair down or plait your hair down just keep in mind that some may be shorter than the others and you may have to do a tighter braid or a tighter twist Am I the only one that has a party when I'm done styling my hair? I'm sorry, but I need a little party after it's stressing out my arms for like an hour. But anywho, okay guys, now it's time for the takedown, y'all. Before I take my locks down, I'm gonna go in with my hair oil just to secure my scalp because my scalp has been feeling a little dry. Now it's time to face the music. Here goes nothing. The first lock curl. Let's see what it's giving y'all. Hmm. Okay, not bad, not bad. It, it, it's all right. Well, let's see, let's see. We don't want to get excited just yet. Keep in mind, you guys, that sometimes I forget I plaited my roots, but gently take your curls out. I will say don't snatch your hair as you're pulling your curls out because you're going to loosen up the curls. So as you can see, first curl down, the rest to go. Look at this curl. Real bouncy, super cute. Oh, yeah, that girl. Let's get it. Okay. Now let's see how the rest of the hair looks. Mind you guys, this is my first time doing flexi rods on my hair. If you're like me, they have a history of epic fails on curl sets. I've tried perm rods and everybody kept telling me to do flexi rods. So this is my first time doing flexi rods and I'll be honest with you, I am damn proud of this. Now that I have all my flexi rods out of my hair, now it's time to fluff. So you're gonna take your hair pick. For us natural girlies who used to have froze before we start locking up our hair, you guys know what this is. Um, I like to pick my roots out to give myself volume. I don't like flat hair, which is another reason why I was looking forward to starting my lock journey because even when I had natural hair or even when I used to wear wigs, I liked volume. I like fluff, I like frizz. I don't like flat hair on my head because I feel like I have a big head. But anywho, we're just going to keep fluffing until we get it right. We're just going to keep picking until we get it right. 
And voila, you guys, this is the final result. I'll be honest with you, I got so many freaking compliments over this hairstyle. Oh my goodness, I felt so pretty, so elegant, so graceful with this hairstyle. Please comment below the next lock tutorial you would like to see me do. This was a style that was requested from my TikTok, and I was so happy with it, I had to make a YouTube video for it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, y'all.